We have breaking news in Salem. We want to bring you these live pictures. Sky Eye is over this massive fire on Hancock Street. As you can see here, these are multifamily homes. This is a three alarm fire. And what's exacerbating this situation and other brush fires that we've seen today, of course, is that it's another gusty day. I just spoke with Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher, who said the wind is gusting at over 30 miles per hour. And so you can see those flames popping right out of the roof of this building, thick black smoke. And these, you know, the, the, of course, standard phrase that we use that the wind is just going to be fanning these flames. This makes this fire uh, difficult to fight. As you can see, it looks as though it's going from one structure to another. Uh, fire crews will be on the ground with ladder trucks trying to deal with the wind gusting those flames, feeding the oxygen from the inside of a lot of these century old buildings that we find in a place like Salem, uh, where they're very well constructed, very solid wood buildings. And so once the flame gets going under the eaves in those attic areas, uh, you don't know what they're encountering. Uh, the flames are making contact with insulation, uh, woodwork, plywood, all kinds of materials from inside those eaves there. And this is a thick, smoky fire. Fire. Sky Eye is pulling back a little bit here. As we say, this is Hancock Street in Salem. As you know, if you've ever been to Salem, a lot of these, and this appears to be one, are very densely populated neighborhoods, buildings that were built very close together. And so we see the hoses there from the ground. Of course, firefighters will do their best to try to gain control from the ground from a distance before attempting to uh, get up, which would be a very dangerous situation on a day like this for firefighters to vent any holes in the uh, tops, in the roofs of these buildings. It looked as, as though they're not even attempting that at this point. They are down on the ground. Uh, you can see all the crews arriving. They're growing. They'll be trying to douse those roofs, get this fire under control with hoses from the ground. But look at though that smoke. I mean, this makes it a choking situation for firefighters, for people living in the neighborhood uh, as these buildings become fully engulfed in flames. And we can see here the possibility with these wind gusts of over 30 miles per hour, really exacerbating this already dangerous situation and presenting those firefighters on the ground with the possibility that the fire could begin to spread from one structure to another. So as you can see from the direction that the wind is pushing the smoke, but the firefighters are pouring that water, they are trying to completely douse that side of that building. And look, just beyond, you can see the roof totally gone there. You see a deck and uh, the, th the smoke is so thick and black we can't even see the next structure. And so you can imagine if you were down on the ground underneath this conflagration, that creates just a really not only hazardous situation for firefighters, but an inability for them to even see, get their bearings, perceive if they're making any progress trying to knock this fire down.